Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to turn your ebooks into audiobooks on your iPhone or iPad at work there too. So I really like reading business and self-help books, but with school and work, I haven't had the time to do so. So I looked for a hack wherein I could turn these books into an audiobook so I can listen to them while I'm doing chores like washing the dishes or cooking meals. I'm going to show you a quick demo of what it will sound like when we turn our ebooks into audiobooks using the iPhone. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. So here are the steps to do this on your iPhone. First step is turning on spoken content in your settings. So open your settings page and then search for accessibility or scroll down if you know where to find it. Once you've found it, scroll down again and select Spoken Content. Turn on both Speak Selection and Speak Screen. Then select Speech Controller. The controller will allow you quick access to the Speak Screen and Speak on Touch. So I like to turn it on and it will result in an assistive touch on the side like this. The first option for reading is the Select to Speak mode. In order to do this, you open your books and select the book that you want to read. Then you highlight the text that you want Siri or your iPhone to read. And tap it and select Speak. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's the first option for small amounts of text, but for a whole book it might be too tedious, so here's another option. The scrolling text option. Right now your book is on default mode and it's read like a book where you can turn the page. In order to do the scrolling option you need to press the two A's at the top and turn on the vertical scrolling. Once you do that your book will be like a web page which is scrolled from top to bottom. Once that's done select the first word that you want to read and click on the speech controller. Press the hand and then press play. The case for a tragic optimism. Let us first ask ourselves what should be understood by a tragic optimism. In brief it means that one is, and remains, optimistic in spite of the tragic trial. This will continue until it reaches the bottom of the page. When it gets to the bottom it should automatically scroll up. This in turn presupposes the human capacity to creatively. The human capacity to creatively turn life's negative aspects into something positive or constructive. So sometimes it will repeat the last line of the page. And in order to avoid that, you can just reduce the size of your text. This should reduce the amount of times that it has to scroll up and disturb your reading. Aside from this, you can also change the voice of the reader. So go back to settings and scroll down to voices. There are several languages and even accents. So you have Australian and here's a demo of that. Hello, my name is Karen. But I prefer the British one, Daniel. Hello, my name is Daniel. If you're reading a foreign book, you can also download the different languages available. If you found this useful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out our other videos. I'll see you guys again next week!